Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is India and today we are going to be doing my July reading wrap up. Hi everybody and like I said my name is India and I will be doing my July reading wrap up. Now let's, let me just tell you July was the month my reading took off. Before then, if you watch my mid-year book freak out tag, um, I, mm -mm, mm -mm, I had barely read any books. But July, July is where the magic happened, okay? July is where the magic happened. I finished July reading 23 books, 23 books in July. I know, I know wild um at least for me so but anyway let's get started obviously I'm not really going just like I normally do or have been doing I'm not gonna get too much into the books I'll give you my ratings if they're romance my steam fans or smut levels or whatever and I'll give you some tropes and some trigger warnings if they need them okay so here we go. Number one is Oaths and Omissions by Sav R. Miller. I gave this book three stars as well as three Steam fans. Um, it was it was my least favorite of the Monsters and Muses series. It's number two, I believe, in that series. Um, and it was my least favorite of, of those. Right? I think that's number two. Well, it might be number three. Um, no, it's number three. It's number three. Um, I wish we had seen more darkness from the female main character, who was Lenny Primrose, um, just because she's supposed to have this, like, dark side to her that, like, craves violence and all those other things. But, like, you get, like, one hint, and then it was, like, nothing. And you're like, what was the point of even mentioning it? And then the other one was Jonas Wolf, and he's, like, a bad guy. It's a fake dating, dark romance, um, in the same world as the other, um, Monsters and Muses series for that book. Okay, um, so number two is Brutal Savage, the Savage Empire number one by Anna West. I gave this book three stars and three Steam fans. Um, it is an arranged, it's, a, it's an arranged fake marriage dark romance um, between the Irish and the Italians um, featuring Kara and Killian. Um, the female main character really got on my nerves <laughs> um, because she doesn't really know anything about her side of the family, the Irish side of the family, and their business. She thinks because she runs their legitimate businesses that she knows everything and she's ready to lead the whole Irish um, mafia clan for her family. Um, but she doesn't know anything and then she always acts like she's strong but at the first hint of danger she's the weakest thing ever which apparently was a recurring theme for the books I read which really pissed me off was all these women in these mafia romances who are like I'm a strong independent woman and then like a glass breaks and they go the, a glass breaks in the kitchen and they want to go cry about it and see why nobody's fixing these things so yeah just annoyed <laughs> See? Glass breaking. It was. It was a shot glass. I feel like my camera is getting so mad at me. It's okay. Anyway, next up, of course, I had to read. It's a series, so it doesn't, um, this one, the, no, the Savage Empire number one does not end with an H, H-E-A. It is a series. Um, so number three is Brutal Air, Savage Empire number two. I gave it three stars and three Steam fans, also by Anna West, of course. Um, it's still just an average story. It's enemies to lovers. Um, honestly, both characters are just babies, and the female main character still, still bothers me, but I wanted to know how they were going to, um, bring some of these problems and themes together, and yeah. I did not go on to the third book. I think I after the second book because the conflict between like the main character main female character and an ex and an ex of his I'm just like eh, eh, I don't care um mm. The next one up is number four was Broken Whispers, Perfectly Imperfect number two by Neva Altaj. It's an arranged Bratva and Mafia marriage. Um, I gave this four stars and three Steam fans. I actually started to really like it. I didn't like 
I mean, I gave like the first one three stars, which isn't bad, um, but I did actually really like this one. Um, there is disability rep in this book. Um, the female main character does is not able to speak after an accident and um, yeah I just really enjoy it it's mafia mafia romance I dove deep into the mafia romance world guys if you guys want me to like truly do like a recommendations video with more information let me know let me know okay um, so number five was seventh circle Hades number one by Tate James. I give it four stars and four Steam fans. Four Steam fans. This is a reverse harem dark romance. It's all about a crime world. Um, it's like the second series from the MK series, kind of branch off from that um, with Hades and her guys. Um, so I definitely really enjoyed it. Um, number six was Anarchy, Hades number two. Give four stars, four Steam fans. Um, by once again by Tate James. It's a reverse harem, why choose, dark romance. But the ending left me super sad, and so I didn't move on to book three. I owned them all. I didn't move on to book three because the ending for this one left me super sad. Like I was like, wait, wait, <laughs> why, why? But, and so I wanna read the next one to see how we mitigate this, but I just wasn't ready to have that conversation yet. Okay. <laughs> so that left me with number seven. I went to go back. I went to A Hidden Truth, the perfectly imperfect number three by Neva Altaj. Gave it four stars, three Steam fans. Um, this is a dark romance. It is the, it's a Bratva, Brat, Bratva, the cartel uh, put together with Sergi and Angelina. She, Angelina was my favorite female character. Actually, my favorite female character but I think this is also my favorite couple from this series um, there are trigger warnings for rape kidnapping and abuse in this one but they were definitely my favorite couple Sergi has such a dark past and definitely has a definitely has PTSD along with other things and um, so does Angelina so yeah um, eight the never king vicious lost boys number one you know i gave it three stars three fan three steam fans by nikki st crow you know people were like really hyping this book and um at least in some circles really hyping this book and so i was really excited to read it but i feel like there was such a letdown for me with this book um it is a peter pan reimagining it's a reverse harem and it's a dark reverse harem and it's definitely a reimagining um of, of Peter Pan and Peter with his shadows and his lost boys and I feel like I, I don't I don't know what I was missing from this book but I was missing something and I needed more I needed more maybe if I read the second one I'll get that more but reading the first one and I didn't want to move on to the second one I didn't want to so that lets me know that like like I didn't just it didn't give me enough leeway even the end, the end is a great cliffhanger. Um, didn't give me enough leeway in the end to even want to go to the second one. So mm, there's that. Woo. Number nine, Riches to Riches, Abs Valley number one. Five stars, five Steam fans by Ames Mills. Um, love this book, love this book. Love these, it's a duology, love this love this oh my god it's a reverse harem it's the italian mafia and gangs and i loved it i loved all the characters um it's mfm mmf mm it's it's all the things it's all the things it gives you everything you want and all the violence you crave in these types of worlds and i loved it i loved it every moment of it um then we've got Riches to Riches, Abs Valley number two. Also five stars, five Steam fans, Ames Mills. Um, wait, is it Riches to Riches? Why am I saying the same thing twice? 
yeah no it's just part one and part two <laughs> okay abs valley number two by ames mill gave it five stars five steams fan once again it is a reverse harem italian mafia um i do believe in this one there is a trigger warning for kidnapping and sexual assault there might also be a trigger warning for kidnapping and sexual assault in the first one um oh there's definitely mention of past of um past um childhood sexual assault and abuse so there is mentioned with details for those things in both um one and two so that is that is true um number 11 a billion desires uh the rossetti crime family number one by jessa york i have this three stars three steam fans maybe two steam fans like three might be just being a little being a little kind about it um but it's a romance Oh, okay. It's the romance. Um, she's an escort. He's a billionaire, Nick and Cherry. And they're pretty short. I only read the first one. I couldn't really decide. And I think I bought all five of them or something like that. Ooh, my country is coming out. Let me stop. Um, I think I bought all five of them um, or something because they're really cheap. And But after reading the first one, I was like, I don't really think I care to continue. And so that always kind of lets me know how that series is just going for me because I genuinely just did not care to continue. <sighs> um, number 12, Until Tomorrow Comes, Beauty and Lies number one by Adelaide Forrest. I gave this four stars, four scene fans. Um, it is a romance. It is a mafia romance. Um, it is a dark romance. Um, there is... Um, there is an age gap there is some dubious consent in this book so warnings for that um and it features Rafi and Issa I didn't write much more about that some of this I did at work so what I should have been presenting <laughs> ah so some of this didn't get all the details I really needed to do but anyway beauty and lies number one till tomorrow comes oh Number 13 was Mr. Masters from the Mr. Series number one. This took me a long time to get through, like a long time. Like I was reading, I was reading it, I was listening to it, and I just, it just took me a long time to get through. And it's not that long of a book. It just didn't keep my interest all the time um, with it. Um, sorry, I, I totally skipped ahead but it's by tl swan i give it four stars three steam fans it's an age gap romance he's like some billionaire she's and she's the nanny features julian and brielle um there is um some trigger warnings for suicidal ideations childhood bullying um i wouldn't necessarily call this a dark romance there are some bdsm scenes but i wouldn't necessarily call this a dark romance um and it just just took me um oh and, and suicide not just ideations but also suicide um it just took me a long time to get through and i just i just didn't really care for it i don't know i mean i cared for it just fine the story as a whole but mm, didn't do much for me okay so to combine these because i didn't feel like writing them all out um 14, 15, 16 are all from the same series. They're from the New York Ruthless series with number, with the first one being Ryan, Ryan Rule. I gave this four stars and five steam fans. This series is so hot. <laughs> and leaky. Um, um, all of them are a, they're by Sadie Kincaid. All of them are reverse harem. It's the Irish Mafia. Truly, there's some hints of Russian mafia, but it's the or the Russian bratva, Irish mafia. Um, trigger warnings for kidnap, rape, and sexual assault. Um, the second one was Ryan Redemption. I gave four stars and five scene fans too. And Ryan Retribution. I gave three stars and five steam fans too. This does feature one woman and a family of brothers, four brothers, the Ryan brothers, who are in a Y choose relationship with our um, main female lead, who is a hacker. Um, yeah. The last one got three stars because I felt like we started off super strong in the first one with the with the main female lead. Um, 
um, and us talking about how she's a hacker and she's one of the best and then I felt like we lost her in that because I felt like that was such an awesome part of her character was that she just wasn't some arranged marriage just wasn't some you know sell-off to unite the families but she was a hacker I mean she has her own very dark past which is where these trigger warnings coming from but she has her own very dark past but with it um she is um a hacker and i feel like we lost that part of her character and that made me really sad it was like we just slowly made her weaker instead of stronger because she should have gotten stronger with the harem of men that she has but we made her weaker so that made me sad so that was 14 15 16. um 17 aaron's patience the townsends of william sport number one by tiffany patterson gave this three stars three steam fans this is written by a black author um and it is an interracial romance this one has themes of hidden children um forced marriage um or you know like he didn't know he had kids and then forced marriage um i i'm normally okay with bully romances um but there are some the way this bullying happened i wasn't that okay with in this book i think that's why i gave it three stars um and the stalker part just really came out of the woodwork i felt like but i did like how that wrapped up mm -hmm. 18 a soul to keep dusk walker bride number one bro some of y'all really really were hyping this book really were hyping this book i'm disappointed gave me three and a half stars and I feel like that's being generous generous and three steam fans it's really not that steamy like now we're like oh it's so great um written by Opal Rain um this one is like it's a demon romance um definitely add it to your spooky list for October um it's a demon romance and she's like like a virginal bride who is sacrificed by her small town because every year the dust walker comes in or every 10 years or so the dust walker comes in and um protects the town but takes a sacrifice and it turns out he's the sweetest thing ever um so um there is a trigger warning for parents slash family loss um so just let you know um but yeah it turns out the demon is the sweetest guy ever um he's just misunderstood but the story itself it, it uh, whatever like whatever 19 losers we're almost there guys losers losers number one I give this four stars and five steam fans. This one was a good one. I really enjoyed it, which was great because I didn't enjoy the previous one by Harley LaRue. Um, just, just so you know, this does start off in high school. Some people get a little weirded out by that, but it does start off in high school. Um, and it goes through um, to their adult lives. Um, but it starts off with a dare. There is a prequel that I didn't actually read that apparently does go into more details about the dare that's always mentioned in the like during this story with more detail. So there is a prequel that you can read. It is a reverse harem. There is MM, there's MFM, there's MMF, there's MF. Um, it's basically popular girls who get together with the losers, but you know, she was a mean girl in high school and they were the losers and she bullied them and blah, blah, blah. But then this dare brought them together and it's it's good it's good i want to read the second one um because there's there was some something in the ending the ending is happy for now i want to say not necessarily happy ever after i think the ending was happy for now um but there is definitely still a cliffhanger truth bomb that's going to need to be brought out in the next book for sure um 21 22 and 23 um this was i'm just gonna talk about the trilogy but um blood of my monster was the first one and it is the monster trilogy number one two and three by rena kent oh wait i skipped 20 because i was like wait i read another rena kent book so let me go back 20 god of malice legacy of gods number one gave this four stars five steam fans by rena kent 
Um, it is a dark, dark romance. This one is a little, little on the darker side, okay? A little on the darker side. <laughs> um, there's some dubious non-consent, um, suicidal thoughts, and attempts, and depression. This does feature college, um, college age people, and it's like the underworld, so thinking, um, the Lords of Mercy, you know, the Forsyth guys, um, things like that is what you're, is the vibe you're getting with this book. Um, and so they are adults, they are in college, just remember that a lot's going on in this book. Um, but I liked the twist that I got at the end. Some of y'all just might be smarter than me and figured it out ahead of time, but I liked the twist at the end. Um, four stars, five steam fans. Um, and so back to the other Rena Kent series, um, The Blood of My Monster, Monster Trilogy number one, two, and three by Rena Kent. I gave the whole series four stars, four steam fans. Um, I feel like four steam fans might be a little high for this. It might be a cool three steam fans, but it's basically the mafia meets, um, or sorry, it's the Bratva, it's not the mafia, it's all Bratva. Um, and you would have to think of this whole series as like an Anastasia meets Mulan. So like her whole family gets murdered. <laughs> her whole family gets murdered. She has to go into hiding. She hides herself as a man and ends up hiding within the military, which is where the meets Mulan is. And you know, and she meets our main male character and she's like, teach me how to be a better soldier. I'm not going to give up after these guys attacked her because she's weaker than the other ones. And so that's where the Mulan comes from, and that's when you cue the song, you know, be a man, it's gonna be quick and the coursing rain. Yeah, cue that. Um, and then, but yeah, and then you got the Anastasia ones, um, where in my theme song, you know, there's some points where you get the, in the dark of the night, people will find her, find her, or in the dark of the, yeah, because that happens when you're thinking about the bad guys coming to get her, and then when she's thinking about going home, you get dancing bears, or once upon a December. Dancing bears, painted wings, things I almost remember. Anyway, so, I mean, that series was just really easy to get through. It was really easy to get through and I really wanted to know how all these pieces came together with the murdered family so when it finally did I really actually enjoyed this ending I really actually enjoyed this ending so yeah yeah guys that wasn't so bad look at that I kept that pretty quick and to the point you're welcome you're welcome I don't know, maybe one of these days I'll do like a Mafia roundup with some of my favorite Mafia books. Um, and do that. Who knows? Is that something you guys want to see? Yes, no, maybe? Um, I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best these days. Okay? Well, anyway, that's it for me, guys. <laughs> so don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to hit that bell notification button so you never miss anything. Don't forget to follow me on all of the social media and... Until next time, keep turning the pages.